All right, we got big news in the NBA. Uh, Russell Westbrook wants to be the next big name to lead the Houston Rockets. Uh, following the G, uh, the exits of GM Daryl Harley and head coach Mikey, uh, Mikey Ocini, Westbrook is said to not be happy with the direction of the franchise. Um, this is a big. I, I I don't think this is necessarily a big deal. I mean, he wasn't really a big factor in Houston, if I'm being honest, as as, many, as the many games I've seen the Rockets play. That wasn't really producing like he should have been. Uh, and of course, come on, Nate. Russell Rock- Westbrook wasn't a big factor on Houston. I don't Tough. think so. He wasn't playing like he, Russell Westbrook. I'm being he was, honest with you. There were there were a lot of there were it was like a it was there was a big part of that season when he was when he was playing balling out with the triple doubles. Yeah, with the triple doubles. Yeah, but when they needed him most, where was he? Is my question. It's like it, I I don't know. I don't think this is. I I mean, it will it will to a degree affect the Houston Rockets. I don't think he was as good as everybody said he was going to be in Houston. I I don't think so. You may think differently. I don't. So, um, uh, with that said, Mario, where do you think he's going to – if he does get out of Houston, where do you think he's going to go? I like a couple teams. See, I like um, – see, I think Milwaukee will be a good place for him. See, I think that his passing ability is really going to elevate um, Giannis. I think it's really going to elevate Giannis, you know. Um, you can obviously make triple doubles on that team. You know, you get – you take Russell Westbrook, have him being the playmaker that he is, you know, imagine Russell Westbrook dishing it out to Giannis, and then you got Chris Middleton also, who's a shooter, and then you got Eric Bledsoe, who's a good point guard defender. And so, in my opinion, I think that would be a great team for him to join Milwaukee. If he wants a little bit more of like the limelight, LA is a good team too. Lakers, Lakers are looking for that net. Lakers are looking for another point guard. You know, they're looking. They really are. They're, they're looking at people. They've been looking at Ben Simmons. I've heard. I've heard they've been looking at Demar Derozan and everything like that. You know, I heard they have some interest in them. Russell Westbrook is a, is very good friends with LeBron James. I think Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, I think that could really I think honestly that could really work. You put again, you could put Russell Westbrook as the playmaker, you know. LeBron James starts turning into a scorer that he was with Miami. And then Anthony Davis is obviously Anthony Davis. We're not going to say too much about that. I think that would be a good team for him too. But then again, you know, but then again, the Lakers are going to have to figure out what they want to do with that team. Again, they they recently just won a NBA championship. Now you got to go from there. Yeah, and again, right. you got to also trade. It's also a trade, so you got to figure out what you're going to trade away to get West to get Westbrook. And the same right. thing with Milwaukee. You know, you trade away Westbrook. I value there. You give away Eric Bledsoe, so then you might not have that there. And then you give away Chris Middleton. Now you don't got shooting, and then you got to figure out what you want to do with that. Um. Uh, I think my my roommate mentioned this, so I'll give him credit to that. Shout out to Jordan, but um, Phoenix, Phoenix might be a good team with that too. Mm. Phoenix, you get you know again Russell Westbrook. I think wherever team he goes, I think he will end up being the playmaker. Obviously, because Russell Westbrook, in my opinion, I think is a playmaker. But Russell Westbrook, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, got Kelly Oubre. You know, coming off the bench, like you got Ricky Rubio. That's a good team right there. You know. You get a playmaker that can set up Devin Booker to shoot threes, that can to score, and then you get a playmaker that can also give the ball to DeAndre Ayton a lot more. And then on the other hand, you got Kelly Oubre to, you know, kind of handle his business too when coming down when um you know because Kelly Oubre I think has been a great slasher this year. So honestly, Phoenix might be a better might be the best fit for him right now, depending on if he wants to go to Phoenix. Personally. You know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to turn down LeBron James, though. Yeah, there are rumors no. going around that he that um the Pistons and the Bulls might look for him, but I don't know. That's just a rumor. Yeah, hey, I'm a Bulls fan. I mean, I mean, look, I don't got no problem with Westbrook. You know, I don't. I don't think I got a problem with that. But there's rumors that he might go to the Celtics, which I don't. Think I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't. Think, I don't, yeah, I, don't I don't think so either. I don't think it'd work like that. But of I think they're going to be a, hot head. Personally, I think there should be a lot of teams right now that are should be interested in Russell Westbrook. Mm. You know, I think I think mostly when he's mad, I think it's more of intensity than than straight up anger. Yeah. You know, I think Russell Wilson, uh, Wilson, Russell Westbrook is a very intense NBA player. You know, he's intense because he think he loves the game. He wants to win. I would love a player like that on my team. Don't get me wrong, but. Again, you also got to figure out what's the right system for him to fit in. Exactly. And personally, I think the right system, in my opinion, I think is Phoenix. But I think, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers landed him too or the Bucks. But we're going to see where this goes. Miami might be a good one too. I was going to say that too. 
Miami might be a good one too. You know, I mean, I know they got like, they, I mean, they, between Duncan Robinson, and Tyler Hero, I know they got Goran Dragic as a point guard, but I wouldn't be surprised if you trade away Goran Dragic. You get you trade away Drake, uh, Jake Crowder. Um, trade on maybe a first round. They pick. just you came off and then they Russell just came Westbrook. off a run to the championship and they lost, and then they want to like build up on that and right, try I'll and go back and win again. I'll say this though, I don't think I do not think Russell will uh, Westbrook. I don't think he's. I think this is going to be a very late trade. I really yeah. do. And the reason why I say that is because right now I haven't heard any teams be like, we're, we want him, we want him, you know, engagement. Like there are teams who are interested, but I haven't heard any of that. And I think if you wait long enough, I think the team, I think this, there could be a team that can get him for a very low, for, uh, you know, a very low rate, very low exchange. And I think that would really work for a lot of teams. But if I'm Houston Rockets, I'm looking to trade away Russell Westbrook very early. Yeah, I agree.